Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, you'll find out some amazing features of the biggest aircraft carriers in the world. This remarkable vessel is more than what you might imagine. It not only brought so many aircraft as military defense, but this vessel also had a full load displacement of 100,000 tons and a 78 meter wide flight deck. This amazing warship has the capacity to carry more than 75 aircraft and accommodate 4,539 personnel, including the ship's company, air wing, and other support staff, with a length of more than 1,000 feet and about 250 feet in height. This $13 billion aircraft carrier spent several years to build and accommodate the vessel's large gym areas, grocery stores, and excellent air conditioning systems, as well as specially equipped resting and sleeping areas. A retail service specialist handles the grocery stores, and other facilities' profits generated from the sales of items go into the funding of activities and other facilities to boost the sailors' comfort as they'll be calling this ship their home for an extended period of time. One of the tools that made the aircraft carrier safely operating is the general assessment. It provides accidents, injuries, or illnesses that could happen on board or what they have to do to reduce in case the likelihood of them happening. Through a systematic procedure, general assessment helps the ship reach the flawless precision to identify potential danger that could happen. They use a consistent training technique. Continuous, flexible, and routine reviews are part of the general assessment of the warship. This kind of training enhances safety while minimizing environmental impact because the risk has an unpredictable concept. It requires training and a particular experience. While carrying out the general assessment of the warship, the organization also has a process of making decision by evaluate human behavior towards issues and general awareness that becomes the factors that play an important role to make a decision. This vessel also has a maintenance on a DEX carrier that is crucial to the functionality of the aircraft flight maintenance and operations at the sea. As one of the most impressive ships that has a great design, no wonder the Navy has established practices that transcend special mission vessels and technologies. However, the maintenance on a DEX carrier is so established in so many ways that they still require space and is done ashore. The operation on big car and aircraft carrier that flies the most advanced planes are so complicated. They're able to replace a plane's engine and do some mechanical work at sea, but it is more recommended to take a serious corrosion and repaint on land, as for electrical matter and armament systems can be done at the sea. There are three stages of maintenance, organizational, intermediate, and depot, O-level, I-level, and depot. The O-level and I-level can be done on board, while the depot must be done ashore. The F-18 is a configurable military plane and has high performance criteria. This fighter plane is a worth U.S. asset, can be used for different purposes by modifying and adding parts which can help the Navy and Marine Corps achieve air superiority. A full set of stations on its belly and the wings on this ground attack aircraft can transport the extra fuel tanks and a nuclear bomb. The deck operation is essential to make sure these jets land seamlessly. The aircraft on these multi-billion dollar amphibious assault ships are designed to have vertical landing capabilities. One example is the F-35, which is equipped with advanced avionics and is powered by the Pratt & Whitney F-135 engine, a highly regarded fighter engine. The F-35 can fly up to 900 nautical miles and reach speeds of up to 1,200 miles per hour. The F-35B is the only version of the F-35 that has short takeoff and vertical landing STOVL, capabilities. This means it can operate equally well on both land and an aircraft carrier because it has the ability to take off and land vertically like a helicopter, allowing it to function from bases with limited landing space and a variety of air-capable ships. Another aircraft with vertical landing capabilities is the AV-8B Harrier. The AV-8B Harrier II is part of the current inventory of the United States military. It is capable of short takeoff and vertical landing, STOVL. 
Since its launch in the late 1960s, the Harrier has undergone several upgrades which have improved its range, safety, and lethality. The U.S. Marine Corps' concept of an all-STO VL force relies heavily on the AV-8B as a key component. This concept allows Marines to be supported in challenging conditions while operating in expeditionary areas. The Harrier II's thrust of 22,000 pounds allows it to hover like a helicopter and then accelerate to the speeds of a jet. It is used for a variety of missions including attacking and destroying surface and air targets, escorting helicopters, engaging in air-to-air -air defense, providing reconnaissance, and providing offensive and defensive support with its arsenal of missiles and bombs. Its versatility allows it to perform almost any mission. The USS Zumwalt is another example of a U.S. Navy vessel that is worth mentioning. The Zumwalt is the flagship of a class of next-generation multi-mission destroyers designed to increase naval power and strength from the sea. These destroyers are intended for various roles and will be equipped with the most advanced military hardware and technology, such as the most advanced electric propulsion system, a wave-piercing tumble-home hull, a stealth design, and the most advanced weapons. This U.S. destroyer, which cost $4.4 billion, was hailed as one of the most technologically advanced vessels in the world. As a guided missile destroyer, its primary mission is to provide the U.S. Navy fleet with anti-aircraft support. Construction on the ship began in October 2008, and it was launched in October 2013. However, the U.S. Navy did not bring it into service until October 2016. The surface ship is considered the most technologically advanced ship in the world.